Hi guys, I'm back. And uh, I want to share my heart with you guys. There's a jerk coming around space right now. And uh, he goes by the name Mando. Mando. Man. Mando. And he tossed me this thing and he said, take care of it. What the heck is this thing? Look at him. Look at his eyes. Look at those eyes. Danny Costa is going to show you and talk about how and what he sees completely blind. What a jerk. Enjoy this video. And please drop a like so Danny will stop making me do these things. <sighs> Mando, I don't want to take care of this thing. Come back. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Danny Costa. Welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be talking about what do blind people actually see. And before we get started, why don't you go ahead and smash that subscribe button so I can make sure that you can see what I can. Drop a like on this and also ring that notification bell for more videos on blindness, motivation, inspiration. I am coming from a perspective where I was born completely sighted, but now I'm completely blind. So everybody's experience is different. Today, I want to focus specifically on what do I see as a completely blind blind person. When I was born up until the day that I was starting to go blind. Even when I was losing my sight, I never needed glasses because I lost my sight so quick. So it kind of looks like white noise. If you ever see the TV where it's like completely black and it has tiny little dots kind of like flickering really, really quick, but in a way where it doesn't necessarily bother your sight, that's kind of what it looks like. So it's really interesting because it actually moves around. You can kind of manipulate it and control it. At times, it feels like the brain is trying to put into motion or portray what is actually supposed to be seen. So for example, if I go like this, okay, I can actually see my hands, not literally with my eyes, but because I did this for so many years, right? My brain is trying to perceive what it used to see. Even if I'm looking at this right now, there's a laptop in front of me, there's a camera on top of it, which is an external camera. There's a screen where I kind of feel like I can see myself. Again, it's not what is actually there, but it's what the brain wants to be there. Up until this day, I always see kind of like a white silhouette. Not like pure white, as you would say, but think of like, think of being in a really dark room and holding a tennis ball in front of you, like a black tennis ball. Okay, for some reason, your eyes will try to perceive a white halo around it as if there was like a sun or a moon behind it. There is some color sometimes. So for example, right now, I can actually see like this really, 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 really dark shade of red. It's really weird. I remember being in art class and we did tints and shades and we had to do the lightest tint possible of a color and then the darkest shade possible of a color. So I guess you could kind of say, I see the darkest shade of red, the darkest shade of blue, and the darkest shade of like a gray, kind of blackish almost. Let's say I'm talking to somebody. I can actually see their silhouette and all those little dots will form themselves, but it happens immediately, literally immediately. It's so weird how it occurs. Whenever I'm in the car and there's somebody driving, of course, cause I'm not driving. Cause that would be really bad. <laughs> uh, I can kind of see the yellow street lights. It's really weird. Or let's say uh, we're at a red light and then we take off. I kind of see like this weird red light flash through my vision as if like I can actually see it, but it happens so quick. It almost feels not necessarily as fast as lightning, but um, if you guys ever saw like the Fast and the Furious movies and it's like these really fast red lights kind of like going by really quick and they're going so fast, they leave like a trail. It kind of looks like that. Also, when I'm in a room and somebody turns on the light and they turn it back off, the brain is trying to perceive what should actually be happening visually. So when somebody turns on the light and I hear that, okay, I can kind of see it. But when somebody turns off the light and it goes, for some reason, I feel like my sight gets really dark. And I just realized that uh, my room is probably darker than it should be. So let me open up another curtain. So I hope that looks a lot better. Okay, so the other thing we need to talk about is the kind of sonar thing. When I listened to Daredevil um, back, I don't know if it's still on Netflix, but back when it was on Netflix, I listened to the audio described version. I'm not sure if that's necessarily what it looks like visually because I was already completely blind when I heard the audio description of Daredevil. But I'll give you guys an example. Let's say I snap my fingers right now like, okay? Mentally, it doesn't even take a split second. Mentally, 
my my brain already put the room together as if like there's a image right here in my in my in my head okay and it's almost like i can zoom into different parts of the room without being able to see so if i go like this same thing happens sometimes based on the amount of people i hear i can see silhouettes walking left and right if somebody walks past me let's say i didn't hear them from far away because it's really loud but then i feel them pass by me like the 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 breeze of like their body passing by i feel it brush up against me all of a sudden i can see their silhouette pass right next to me it's really really cool it's really weird it's really fun though and i really really enjoy it because it gives you a very different perception in life and i know a lot of people say i don't really think my senses got heightened but i personally do feel like they did i think one part of it is that i pay more attention to it so i hone that skill that sensory i hone it a lot more because i rely on it a lot more right so sound for example let's say i'm in my living room and i hear somebody coming up the stairs I can tell based off of the way they open the door, based on how they're walking up the stairs, I can tell when there's somebody coming upstairs and sometimes I can even tell who it is because I memorize kind of like the patterns that they walk in and the amount of force they put into each of their steps, right? But let's say it's somebody different and somebody's trying to sneak upstairs. I can literally hear the door downstairs open and I live on the third floor. So sometimes people will be like, wait, what happened? And I'm like, hold, hold on, hold on. I hear something. Somebody's coming upstairs. They're like, Danny, we don't hear anything. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure they'll go. But mentally, it's all happening in my brain. I can literally see them, even though I can't see at all, right? But it's almost like this weird kind of like metaphorical, not spiritual, but like a metaphorical camera leaves my body, goes out the hallway, down the stairs, and is trying to pick up on what's going on and who it is just based on my hearing. Vibration and the temperature of things. So for example, right now, I'm sitting in front of my window. This is where I usually am, doing office work, etc. right? But because I'm usually here, the warmth of the sun reminds me, okay, it's daylight, right? If I have my window open and the birds are singing in the morning, once they start uh, singing, because I wake up like at 4.30, 5 a.m. sometimes, I I know that it's about to be daylight. In winter time, it gets day later and it gets dark earlier, right? Because there's not as much sun through during the day or it's really cloudy, right? So sometimes that becomes uh, kind of difficult to be able to tell because it's so cold. You barely feel the warmth through the window of the sun. So one thing that helps me is just setting an alarm in the morning and setting an alarm at night and letting me know like, hey, it's time to get up or hey it's time to go to sleep it's like when you're sleeping i barely lost my sight and i was completely blind okay um i was actually having a hard time sleeping because there were times where i didn't know if my eyes were actually closed and i was sleeping or if my eyes were still open but i was sleeping it was so weird like i'd wake up and i'm like did i just sleep with my eyes open the entire time it'd be really really weird and it felt kind of uncomfortable honestly and so sometimes i'd have more time focusing whether or not my eyes were open than actually trying to get some sleep now what about dreaming so i've never actually had a dream where i cannot see there's times where in my dream i have a cane and there's times where in my dream i don't have a cane like it feels like people in my dream should know that i'm blind right or i'm pretending to be blind in my dream somehow like they think I'm blind because in real life I am, but in my dream I can see and I'm like, aha, you think I'm blind, but I'm not, you know? And I'll do things and they're like, wait, how do you do that? You're supposed to be blind. And I'm like, I know, isn't that crazy? But then when I wake up, it's really odd. The last thing that I see in my dream will actually be visually so vivid in my vision. There's times where I can't even get up because I can actually control it. I can manipulate it. So let's say the last thing I saw was like, a huge horizon at the beach and there was like a moon all of a sudden I can picture like Saturn huge with its rings and then I can imagine it exploding and all the stars shooting towards the earth and then I could extend my hat and like control it and push them back into space now think about that imagine seeing that super vivid as if you're like actually doing it I want to end with this. So whenever I see something that I'm familiar with, so for example, let's say I'm watching Star Wars, a movie. Maybe it's a cartoon show or whatever it is. Maybe it's family, right? For whatever reason, my mom will always look like she's in her 30s. 
okay? Early 40s. Because the last time I saw pictures of my mom and I saw my mom, she was really, really young. So no matter what, she's always gonna look that age to me. Her voice hasn't changed, so she's always gonna look that age to me, right? All of my family, all of my friends, they're always gonna look the way they looked in 2014 because that's when I lost my sight completely, okay? And what's really, really interesting too is when I'm watching a movie, I just hear the audio and I can see it as if it's happening right in front of my face. And what's really cool is that I can submerge myself and make it an immersive experience where I can look around and I'm like, whoa, I could actually see like the Death Star and I can like go around it. You can't do that at the theater, but you can actually do it. At least for me, I can do it as a completely blind person. And there's so much more that I can go on about. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe. And I want to give a special thanks to all of those that have been giving me donations and helping me with my fundraiser at my GoFundMe campaign, which I will leave the link in the description down below. So God bless you guys. I love you all very much. And remember to walk by faith and not by sight. Envision inspiration. I want to give a special shout out to Amy and Anna from Be My Eyes app. Thank you so much, ladies, for allowing me to have the video angles that I have today. God bless you guys.